method one figure one point one shows one phase of a piece of modeling clay that the student uses this sam this is sample A. The student measure the depth of sample A, which is three point two. Measure and record the length and the width. So how to measure? You will have an exam. You will have a hard copy. So you will place your ruler on the scale and measure the length and measure the width. And you will substitute this length and width. You will substitute this length and width here. Like say example, I'm just using a random value. So this was three point one, and the other is two point seven. This is just a random value. It can be any other. But you will measure an exam from the hard copy and then volume. In paper six, you don't have to memorize any formula. They will provide the formula. So what length, like example, it was three point one and the width was two point seven. So you multiply all of them, you will get the volume. And figure one point one shows a sample lay on the balance, and record the mass so to the nearest gram. So it is fifty point seven eight. So we want to make a whole number. So fifty point seven eight to the nearest gram, it will be fifty one grams. And then calculate the density of a sample. How to calculate the density? The mass divided by volume. M A divided by B A. What is M A? This was M A. This is M A which you can uh, rounded off to fifty one. And V A is this value is a V A, so we will divide the mass of the object with the volume. We'll get the density. So this will be about one point eight nine. The units are always important. Why it took two marks because the units are one point eight nine gram per centimeter cube. Then in the second method, student record the volume of a water. In a measuring cylinder, so student use a displacement method. What he did, he fill the measuring cylinder with uh, water. That was so he filled the measuring cylinder with water that was one hundred and fifty cm cube. Then he add this modeling clay, and the volume it turn out it changes as the modeling clay is added to it. The volume has changed to 182. Like new volume is 182. So what is the volume of the object? 182 minus 150. V2 minus V1. So that's equal to 32. And the mass is 60. So to calculate the density, 60 divided by 32 will get the density of which is 1.88 gram per centimeter. A student suggests that the density of a modeling clay is not affected by mass or the volume of the sample. State whether your results agree with the suggestion and justify by reference to the result. Look, when we took sample A, we were getting a density of 1.89 gram per centimeter cube. When we took another sample of the modeling clay, we are getting a density of 1.88. So two values are approximately equal, like one point eight eight or one point eight nine are approximately equal. So suggest whether your result agree with the suggestion. So what will be the statement? We'll say the statement matches the result. And justification is there because the density of the sample A. Of modeling clay was one point eight nine, and the density of sample B of that modeling clay is one point eight eight. So we change the sample, but we are getting the. Yes, you can round off the value, but better write your answer in three significant figures. When you are writing the answer, the best answer is in three significant figure. You can round off to three significant. Then tick the box that describe the correct line of sight. 
So use a screen annotation to answer this question. Take the boxes that describe the correct line of sight for taking the reading volume, uh, for taking the reading of the volume of water in the Beijing cylinder. And so look perpendicular to scale, that is one. What else? And we should always use the bottom minuscules. Good. So whenever we are reading the scale, we should look perpendicular and we should in line with the bottom minuscules. Like there's always a curvature. As you can see here, as I zoom in. So when we read the level, we always read the bottom of the minister. So we should be in line with the bottom minister, not with the top minister. And we should look from the side where the scale is there or the markings are there. So we should look perpendicular 90 degree, that's third and in line with the bottom ministers.